What's up everybody and welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and this is a review of Daniel Madison's Bangers Playing Cards. Once again, thanks for watching and let's dive right into the review of these cards. So let's go over the ad copy about this deck. So this deck is a fully marked, fully customized and it's loaded with secrets. This is one of the last decks of cards which Daniel Madison will be releasing from the Madhouse which is where the Playing Cards Company section operates from. Before he gives it up and heads to the streets to perform magic for his YouTube direction which he's been going for, which is such a shame as I've been really enjoying some of the decks that he's been releasing over the years and I've got a large number of them myself. Anyway, these are a marked deck and each card is marked on the finger where Daniel's Nine of Clubs is tattooed in real life. As a result, each card has a different marking on the back where that tattoo usually is. So it makes it easy to know which card you're looking at and without actually looking at the face of it. This is meant to be used as a speed reader kind of deck so that you can easily see what the card is but have the marking hidden from view. There's only a thousand of these made, which makes it a pretty rare deck too. So how much are these? When I bought these at release, they were £14 a deck and I used an exclusive discount code to get some money off the deck, which was absolutely great. So it worked out about £12 in total. I do believe that elsewhere, when they were sold at places such as the Card Inn, they were retailing for about £22. And I've actually seen one recently on £60 for eBay after having a quick search. I believe there's some listings on there available around for the same amount now. So if you're desperate to grab one at £60 then, you can do so or have a search on other sites such as the card in and paper decks to see if they get them back in stock because they are one third of the price than listed on eBay. So let's talk about the tuck case. It's in the same pink colouring as the Pink Advocates, which I just love that colour. When I got my deck through, I had this fantastic two deck box, which Madison does offer, and I got a signed box, deck of bangers, and a signed deck of Pink Advocates, along with a business card and a signed King of Diamonds. The top of the tuck box features the new Daniel Madison logo as opposed to the Charlie logo. The sides and the back of the tuck case are black, and the bottom has the Madison Bangers text along with the website and Made in China ad copy. The front of the tuck case has the Bangers logo on there with the fingers held together to look a bit like a Spears logo. The tuck flap has a swear word on it and the two other flaps have got some additional logos on there too. Now onto the back of the cards, they feature that bright pink colour used on the Pig Advocates and features the Bangers logo on each side of the card and of course each card has its own markings on the finger too. When you find out the cards, there's a nice little display of the Bangers logo on the sides of the cards depending on how much of the card you show them with the fan. With it being a mark deck, the marking appears on each side of the card at the same place so you can look at the markings on the hand closest to you or furthest away. They're a little further into the middle than the edge so when you're spreading the deck for a spectator to pick a card you can't see the markings unless you spread them further or get them to pick one out. I feel that sometimes the markings are a little too close to the finger so that the pip can't, uh, it's a little hard to read if you're too far away or ne not needing to look at it quickly but I suppose if it was further into the finger in the blank space it would be a bit more obvious. Now onto additional cards, there's a few extra cards that you get in the deck which has a quite unique stack and I have to say in that stack from ace to king with each of the four pips stuck together before the next value goes spade clubs diamonds heart you also get a double backer card but the, the card has the pink bangers color on one side and the rare blue bangers color on the other side you also get a miss indexed ace of spades and a three of hearts card and an extra queen of spades duplicate card which can be used as a, a four of hearts reveal on both of the duplicate queen cards before we look through the cards and you've made it this far though if you're not subscribed it would be absolutely amazing if you could subscribe to the channel and help help me out by giving the, the video a like too much appreciated now let's take a quick look through the cards so firstly you'll notice that the standard red has been replaced with the the mad pink and instead of using the ace of spades as the designed ace madison's went for the ace of hearts instead that spade-esque design on the front of the tuck case i mentioned now has the heart instead of that instead the pips and faces of the number cards are pretty standard beside the obvious color change from red to pink which is great again the faces of the court cards feature some regular people such as amy winehouse madison himself and even susan sausage there are some reveals on some of the cards such as the three of spades reveal on the king of hearts the nine of clubs on the king of diamonds two of clubs on the king of clubs and a few other ones the card cards all have the new madison logo on them too and there's even some sneaky number reveals and um, there's a great card reveal on the jack of spades in the item that they're holding which is a, a number eight so how do they handle as you expect from any of the other daniel madison decks that's released over the few years they're exactly the same these are a full bleed design printed on the improved 2022 Madison stock which is double crushed and features a thin stock. On the sides of the card with it being a full blade design they do look a little pink in some ways especially when you're moving the cards and 
you've got them in your hands and stuff like that. The spring really nice and dribble really nice too. They're super easy to get into Faro Shuffle too, which is always a bonus as it's one of the shuffles that I love to do. They feel a bit slippier than usual for some reason, so a few slides can be a bit difficult if you needed a bit more control. But some of the slides that I do and using most of the videos, it makes the move much easier and cleaner than a standard deck due to the slippiness of the cards. So now on conclusions. Again, another nice deck from Daniel and one that I bought because I love the bangers design. Of course, that with it being a marked deck, that's always a bonus. But as I said earlier, the downside is the markings on them is they may be a bit small for people, so you may not be able to read them from afar or in a spread, but I suppose there's means and ways around of that. Um, the bleed from the back sometimes looks a bit weird on the side of the deck, depending on what angle you hold it to, which could be a deal breaker for some, could not be. Overall, I do like the deck and it's a good marking system and can be used in a number of different ways. I don't usually like when the, the red pips are changed to a different color, but I think these blend in with the deck so you can get away with it. So what are your thoughts on the deck? What do you like about it or what don't you like about it? Um, I've got a ton of Madison decks in the collection too, which I need to get out and review. Is there any particular one that you like to see on the channel sometime? If there is, let me know in the comments which deck you like to see. You can check out some of the previous reviews on the end screens of this video as well, which are appearing on the screen now. Until next time, see ya.